second and Burnett caught him. The Royals turn it into a run. Thank and now that's a balk. Mm -hmm. And maybe that might be an explanation for what happened to Dyson back in the fourth inning. Uh oh. Jerry Davis, a veteran umpire of over 30 years, is showing a lot of restraint. By the rules, at least, you are not allowed to argue balls and strikes or box. And if that's not arguing a box, then I don't know what is. Yeah, you know, and the, and the rest of his teammates hustled over to get in between them. But, you know, there's two outs. And for a veteran to lose it like that must be something further between him and Jerry Davis because they've both been around the league a long time. Clint Hurdle almost had to make an emergency move to his bullpen with two outs in the sixth inning. There's nobody warming up and now let's see. Oh, he was he moving his, his front his, foot. Yeah, first? yeah his left foot was moving. It was moving towards home and then he stopped it and and went went to first base. Jerry Davis made the right call. Ray okay. Sears is the Pirates pitching coach. Watch his, watch his front foot here. Yep. That front, the first movement cannot be the front leg bending. If you're a base runner, if you're Dyson, you're looking at his front foot because if he picks up his front foot, he's going to the plate. So if that's the first movement, Dyson's going to be thinking about second base. Who knows? Maybe, maybe that's the reason Dyson was picked off, and maybe Rusty Coons brought that to Jerry Davis's attention. It's very possible, and that's a, you're exactly right. That's what the runners are looking.